if we artificially increase the density let's say by 100 times so this density comes here so root over 100 becomes 10 that means uh, the stable time increment will increase by 10 times as a result your simulation will speed up by 10 times but uh, be careful when you increase artificially the density of the material because that might physically uh, change the the result and the result might not be presenting the actual physics in many cases increasing the density artificially by some margin will not affect the simulation result uh, significantly so let's try out and uh, put the density to be 94000 so if you put that density in our material definition and then run the same simulation we will see that the CPU time or the total simulation run time has become only 23 seconds due to the increase in the density. Once plotted the force and displacement response for each model, the regular density and 100 times larger density, we could see the force displacement response were almost identical. That means at least in this particular case by increasing the density the simulation result did not vary much not in force displacement response and also not in the stress distribution or the deformation but we have made a significant gain in our simulation time the original one took 2300 seconds when you reduced the step time from 1 second to 0.1 second it took 246 second but when on top of reduction on step time we increased the density the simulation ran only in 23 seconds 